So if you don't like the colors that you've been given as such, if you select the scheme, you can edit the scheme here, go into this and choose your colors appropriately. Um, okay, let's just change that one to brown red and apply and okay. So you see it shows up in the legend, shows up on the plan. Right then, um, along with this rune legend we could do a schedule. Um, we could do a schedule of rooms, a schedule of doors. Uh, let's do a door schedule for now. So scheduling is a very powerful tool that Revit has and um, we'll look at it in more detail in, um, in a specific video about scheduling and we'll come back to it in various different times in the more intermediate and advanced level stuff but I'll give you a quick look at it now. Now schedules live on the view tab now that is because they are a view. They're a different way of looking at the model. Um, they're a, a spreadsheet's view of the model. So you can see here there is an icon called Schedules. Drop that down. Let's do a Schedule of Quantities. We'll look at doors. So this is alphabetize. Let's make a door schedule. Okay. So what can we put in here? Let's a few of the things to do with doors, family and type, fire rating is quite a nice one for doors, um, the level it is on, okay let's put cost, we'll talk about a few of these things, um, okay let's move mark up, this is um, if you know anything about the fields of a spreadsheet, those are the, the columns that you would get in a spreadsheet, and these are the titles that are going to go at the top. This one would be the far left hand side. So let's OK that for now. So you see here Mark, and you see some of the other fields that we've filled in. They're all on level 0 for now, uh, but if we had a multi story building, you would see which level they were on. We haven't filled in any costs for the doors and we haven't filled in a fire rating for the doors yet. Um, jump back to your detailing view and use the shortcut WT window tile. Now you might see quite a lot of views at this point. Just going to minimize a few of them. All I want to see at the moment is my schedule and my level zero detailing. I hit WT again, Windows Tile. Um, you can see that here as well. Tile Windows WT is on the View tab. Uh, it's a, a very useful shortcut to remember. But you should see now if I select a door in here. I'm going to get it selected in the view which is quite a nice way of understanding what you're looking at. I can change the type if I want um, so if I don't like that as a single I could change it from here and it would update. So you see they are connected very very um, strongly. This is another view of this. It's, th it's as though um, it is a camera, it's just a way of um, changing the, the uh, information like that. If I select one of these doors, uh, let's, let's select that door. In the model, and I go to edit type. Um, there are some of the parameters that I can add in here fire rating um, it's not giving me a drop down because I haven't filled in anything yet let's say one hour cost 
let's say 500 apply okay so you can see now because I did it on to I changed the properties of one family type so that particular door because we use the same door over and over again inside you're seeing the same family type and the properties replicated across there if I want an overall cost of all of those doors I need to make an amendment to this field here by opening up the properties in here going over turn on grand totals and then for cost calculate its totals so I now get an overall cost for that schedule okay room scheduling so that's great that schedule is now appearing in here room scheduling there is already a schedule when I started using the room tool it created a schedule uh, an empty schedule for me here I can add other fields to that if I want such as volume area level name okay let's name and number let's have at the top and let's have area oh so okay that adds in all of those types let's just minimize that one hit wt again sorry you can only use the shortcut wt when you're not in the schedule shortcuts don't work in schedules it assumes you're wanting to type okay so now you can see here that I have all of my rooms and it's highlighting them and if I don't want one of my offices my office number seven if I don't want it to be an office anymore and I want it to be a another kitchen I can just change the properties in there click back in here it will give me it will change the color um, it's not very clear turn it into a kitchen so let's use my bright red toilet so we've now got two toilets at the back end so you can see they are very much interchangeable and um, we've got our square meterages there volume is not computed because we don't have an accurate ceiling in there and the level they're all on level zero okay so that's a little bit to do with uh, room layouts adding tags adding schedules um, adding room definitions and um, a very light introduction to scheduling okay um, please find the next video thank you